Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I just, I'm excited about this. I got a 25 horse Mercury, I believe it's a 1982. Uh, very good condition. Uh, Captain Mark and I picked it up on, on uh, Marketplace uh, for a very reasonable price and uh, basically it looks like all this guy has a fuel issue. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be working on this today and uh, we're going to be pulling the uh, carburetor off, giving it a good cleaning, just, just a preliminary cleaning, just to see what it looks like. If it needs a carb rebuild, we'll do that. Uh, or if it needs even a fuel pump. Uh, it's a fuel pump carburetor assembly, so uh, just might need a, a cleaning of the uh, carburetor or uh, a, a fuel pump rebuild. So I uh, might check out the lower unit, uh, see what kind of oil condition we have there, if any water intrusion may be present. Uh, but anyway, I'm uh, really excited about this one, and uh, so stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. You never know. Uh, the plan is, probably to get this motor going and then flip it so but uh, thanks for watching and uh, please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe just wanted to give you a kind of an overview of this uh, 25 horse mercury uh, looks pretty sharp actually I mean there's uh, there's some wear on her but uh, but boy she don't look too bad uh, not for its vintage and uh, so all we'll have to do is probably a carburetor rebuild and maybe a fuel pump rebuild. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and just have to do some cleaning on her and get her running. So anyway, I just thought I'd give you a good view. Okay, so I got the carburetor out. I'm going to start disassembling it. You can see that there's quite a bit of gunk inside there. Uh, well, we'll get it apart and see what we find. Uh, the gasket looks pretty good. I'm going to try and get that off of there without damaging. And we'll go from there. Well, the needle and seat look okay. Uh, the needle, you can see. I don't know if you can or not, but it looks pretty good. You can see the seat down there. <laughs> Carb cleaner, but it looks pretty good. The, the bowl looks clean. Next, I'll take a look at the uh, the high-speed jet. See what what's up with that. The emulsion tube, I'm gonna have to. I don't think that's removable, but I'm gonna try and clean that out best I can too. Mm, all kinds of nice yuckies in there. Uh, yeah, a lot of little holes in there gotta get cleaned out. I'm not sure about this O-ring. That probably would come with a kit, but... Might be... It is a bit worn, but... Might be okay. Okay, let's look outside. Okay, I got that unscrewed. Had that little spring-loaded stem on it. That's a very odd-looking jet. Clean that out good. All right. Let me spray all those those orifices. Now I'll start working on the. Uh, I'll start working on the pump. See what happens there. Those have to be clean. This one looks good. Surprisingly, this looks pretty good. I looked a whole lot worse when it was in the in the motor. Okay, with the screws out. If I open this up, okay, that looks pretty clean. I don't see any tears in the in the gaskets. I need to separate this sandwich here and see what that looks like. There's a. Uh, Definitely a, a notch there for a screwdriver, so you just got to put the screwdriver in and then separate the two, in which I've already basically broken it free. So these are coming off. Since that one is. Well, 
What I did notice too is that when they assembled this, these all these screws were on and they weren't torqued on real tight. So that goes, that goes like that. That goes like that. So on that side. Okay, so I got the got everything off the uh, pump, got the pump disassembled, and I don't see anything bad here. Uh, the, the diaphragm is actually very tight. No holes, no rips, no tears. I'm going to assemble that back together. It didn't tear any of the gaskets, so they're all in good shape. So I'm just going to clean this thing, put it back together, and see what happens. So keep watching. Okay, it looks like we got a another jet on the left and maybe the air idle adjustment screw on the right so I'm gonna pop them out and uh, see where we go from there okay I got the air idle adjustment screw out with the spring the needle uh, the needle and whatever that the spring and as and the uh, looks like the low speed jet I think that's what that is anyway uh, it's a jet so I pulled that out and as you can see, this is what it looks like here. So that looks in good shape. And the jet itself is also clean. Looks looks like there's no issue there. If I can, so you can see right through to the white paper on that. So looks good. Um, this could be cleaned out some. Um, that emulsion tube and uh, those two uh, primer jets, I guess that's what those are. They need to be cleaned out as well. So, okay, so next steps. Um, I need to get the, uh, I'm gonna take the high speed jet out of this. That's, that's I believe is the high speed jet. Yeah, that for sure. And we'll see if that's uh, gunked up as well or not. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got the gasket back in place. I've got the, the needle and seat back in. As you can see, I cleaned all that out and blew it out. I'm going to leave the adjustment alone. I, I think that is correct. Um, it's probably supposed to drop parallel to the, uh, to the body of the carburetor. So and, uh, there's no way for me to test this though. Usually you can blow into the carburetor and see if it seats properly. If it, any air escapes, you know you did the wrong thing, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna put it back together, cleaned it up. Didn't really see any issues, but if there was something blocking a passage, uh, it should be gone now. I never use power tools on anything like a carburetor. If you do, you're making a big mistake. So, just a words of wisdom. Okay, that was backed up, tightened down, just to lightly seated, and then uh, and then backed out two complete turns. So that's where I'm going to put it. Yeah, that's like you seated. There's one, half, two. And the jet, of course, is clear. So I'm gonna drop that baby back in. And again, that's just snug. There we go. Now well, it certainly is cleaner than it was. Now, uh, I've got this other jet to put back in. You see that little spring sticking up, that little pin? You gotta push that down with the uh, screwdriver, get it in the jet, and then sock it down. Just uh, there. J 
just snug. Okay. Now these ports have all been cleaned out. I've got to put the gasket back on. Gasket's not in horrible shape here. So uh, I'm just going to put this back where it was. Uh, okay, so now I've got it back together. Everything's back in as it was before. So if the carburetor's clean, fuel pumps looks pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna get a tank set up and we'll try to fire it up. Okay, I had to change the uh, location a little bit uh, from my garage to my backyard. Got some landscapers working in the front yard to put in some uh, new grass and also a, a sprinkler system. So anyway, I brought it back here, and uh, so now I get scenery. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can see I'm gonna pop this plug. At, I actually already did. I just want to get it on uh, record that uh, there was no actual butter coming out of here. So you can see down there it was all, all oil. So that's a good sign. So I just wanted to take a look again at this oil as it comes out. There's nothing on the magnet. And it looks pretty good, so as you can see that, I'll just top it off when I'm ready. I might drain it and start with fresh, but for right now I want to get it running. So I just want to make sure there was no water intrusion. I bought this new jack, or this new uh, stand, this outboard stand, from a guy named uh, Mike up in um, Hubbard, Michigan. So. He put it together for me, a real reasonable price, and so I was up at the cottage anyway, so I decided to take a jump over there and uh, go see him, and gave me a good deal. So thanks, Mike, for uh, you know for the outboard stand. I appreciate it. Nice work. I want to give you a shout out. All right, I'm going to give it a pull and see what happens. Turns out, or was it two? Uh, I can't remember. Two or three, three turns out. And it just seems to be doing okay. Let's, uh. It seems to be doing good, so yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Live to Fish 64 and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.